everyone welcome to code effectively the topic for today is what is the difference between system.out.print and system.out.println this is the most important question that could be asked in your board exams and in your interview so you must know and if you are doing programming so this is the most basic question that every programmer should know so let's start okay so what does this basically mean so system.out.print first of all let me tell you the exact meaning what is system.out.print so system.out.print in this system as the name suggests since s starts with the capital so system is a class of which out is an object out is an object of print string method okay so let me tell you what is this entire story about that in the class system we have a method name as print stream and in order to call this object print stream we have to create an object as you know whenever we create a class to create after creating that class if we need to call its objects we have to make an if we have to call its method so we have to what do we have to make the objects so in order to make the objects we need to specify a name of the object so the name of that object is out so my class system has to call this method print stream and to call this method print stream the object name is out okay so what it is doing system dot out so this means system is a class out is a object name and print stream is a method and in this print stream we have print method to call or just in order to you can say to make the line print okay so what does print why there is a difference between print stream in this print ln and print out and what is this let me tell you so in print ln also it is the same there are two methods in print stream okay so in print stream also we have two methods that is print ln and print only so what does this do in print we can print the entire line or you can say the entire thing that we want to print in the same line that is in the same line itself the cursor won't um you can say the cursor won't come to the next line but when we will we will use print ln what it will happen that i think let's say i have to print let's say in the next line i will tell you like i wrote sop ln and i wrote hello so if this is my blue j id so first hello will be printed and my cursor was in the initially here after printing hello it will come to the next line because ln ln is occurred because or you can say because ln occurred or we encountered ln so ln means okay go to the next line had it been sop hello so what would be the difference just see so in the same here this would be your blue j id e and you wrote hello here so whenever you would wrote hello your cursor initially is at first position after writing hello also your cursor will be on the same line only it won't come to the next line this is the difference so in order to tell you the entire different i will just create a program on blue j id e so you will get a better understanding of this so this is my blue j id e i have already wrote a program and you will see okay so i just wrote hello out here so this is my hello so or uh, i can say you have i have written hello out here and after this if i write system dot out dot print okay and i write here hi h and first i write let's see right right hello and then hi so you can see first of all system dot out print and hello will be printed and my cursor will come to the next line and it will print hi after this what i print let's say system dot out dot again print so you will see my cursor after hi it will be on the same line and let's say i wrote again world so now world will be in the same it will be now output here it will be hello okay and in the next year the output will be on the next line that would be because ln has occurred the cursor would come on this next line so it will be hi okay but it was print so the ln was not encountered so here my hi after printing hi my cursor was on the same line so it would be now hi world okay so this is the difference you can see just see the difference i will write down here let's run this program and it will be the same output as i told you it would be hello yes and after hello my cursor came to the next point and out to the next point it came to the next line and hi was printed after hi you encountered again a print not a print ln so it was hi world after this had it been i wrote here print ln the world would have been printed on the same line ln because after hi there was no ln so the cursor was on the same line 
after printing world the cursor came to the next line because it encountered ln so here if i print again system dot out dot print so let's say i print out here okay let's me print out here by so now you can see the by would be printed on the next line because on the line previous we encountered ln and the cursor came to the next line so let's see and you can see by is on the next line by by is on the next line because a line previous to it in the world you see ln was encountered and ln made the cursor move to the next line after printing world that's why by was printed on the next line now one more important thing that you need to note is let me tell you see system dot out dot okay dot print ln if you write this and without any giving message in, in the parenthesis you close the parenthesis so there won't be any error Okay, so let me run another statement system dot out dot print in order to say that my print ln statement executed very well, and I write here by. Okay, so first what will happen? Hi, then my cursor would come to the next line, and after this it will print hi, and then in the next line it will print what? Next line it will print by, and then the cursor would coming again to the next line. Let's see. Yes, it run perfectly. Then hello, then hi, and then bye. Okay, and print ln was done, so that's why after hi we got a print ln. So print ln did nothing; it just moved the cursor to the next line. Okay, so this is the print ln. Hi was printed; the cursor was on the same line. But after this, we got system dot out dot print ln. So my cursor came to the next line, and after that, I printed bye. Okay, you got the difference. Now, if I did system dot out only print. Okay, and let me remove these words also. Okay, so I am just printing what system dot out dot print hi, and after this I just print system dot out dot print, and then it was simply system dot out print ln by. Now you will get an error here. Why? Because this print is empty. System dot out dot print ln. Let me write down it for you. System dot out dot print ln. Okay. If this see here, you are not getting any error. You will not get any error in system dot out dot print ln as you have seen. I have given you a try run. But when I will run only system dot out dot print without anything written in the braces, you will get an error. See, you got an error here. And let's see what is the error in the main error because the type print stream, the type print stream is not applicable for the arguments. For the arguments, it means that since this print is not applicable. You, there is a rule that you cannot, that you can't, you can't leave print method empty, empty. Okay. It means what? Let me explain you on the PPT writing it. Okay. So what does it mean? Just let me tell you. See, because print ln. Um, let me change the ink for the better visibility. See, what happened was that print ln, print ln is a function. Okay. You are not writing anything. Instead of you are not writing anything, that's and also still you are getting no error. No error is there. But for print, you are when you are not writing anything in the parenthesis, you are getting an error. Why is this happening? So, this is an important question. So, why this is happening? So, because when you are doing print ln in the print ln, if you are not giving anything in the braces, or if the braces are empty, it doesn't matter because your Function is doing one thing. That is what it is moving the cursor to the next line. Because ln, this ln words indicates to the cursor, hey, you are on the this line. Now move to the next line. So the cursor will say, okay, I will move to the next line. But in print ln, if you give the braces empty, you will have no work because you the print function cannot move the cursor to the next line also, and it is not printing anything. So it's waste. The JVM, the JVM or the virtual machine say, hey, you are wasting my line. You are not doing anything, so it will give an error. But in print ln, if you don't write anything in the braces, and if you print, and if you write the statement system dot out dot print ln without printing anything in the braces, it will work fine. Definitely, it will work. Why? Because the JVM will say, okay, you are doing one thing. What you are doing? You are moving the cursor from one line to the next line. So you are doing some work. So this method is not empty method. So it will say, hey, come and execute. But this print method is an empty method. It is not doing anything. No work has been done in this empty in this print method. You are not moving the cursor because print cannot move the cursor to the next line, and there is nothing to be printed. So it is a useless method. So that's why it will say, "Hey, don't waste my time." It's an error. 
But print LN won't give you an error because it will move the cursor to the next line and JVM will say, okay, you are doing something. So I will allow you to go and be executed. So I hope you got the exact difference between print and print LN. This is an important question. You must know from your programming point of view. It could be asked in your interviews also and it could be asked in your board exam vivas also. So and it could be asked in your theory part. So if you like this video, kindly go and subscribe to the channel and share the videos with your friends. Thank you for watching.